I'm Ranger Kooky. You know what that is back behind me. That's a ghost bike. I have a little story to tell you about that ghost bike. But right now the traffic's very, very strong here and you probably won't be able to hear me through the whole video. I want to tell you more about that ghost bike. That ghost bike belongs to my friend, Robbie Hartman Jr. He got killed. He got killed right beside me. Me and him was traveling for our job, which is the butter crisp or honey crisp at the time. It was 3 o'clock in the morning. We was coming from home, uh, coming from work. And he was struck by a car. That person was drunk. He came from a bar called Ramel's, right up the road. He got struck right beside me when he got hit. And he was killed instantly. Broke his neck. I was going to do CPR on him, but I knew it was no, it'd be a waste of time. I will never forget that night. I will never forget that night. I just want to tell you this story because life sometimes matters and sometimes life is short and life is precious. You never know when you're going to be swiped out or your last day. Like I had an accident seven days ago on a Sunday. Coming home from work. I was hit in the back. I could have been hit in the front. But somehow I was hit in the back. So I was jo joisted backwards instead of forwards. Because when you go forwards, you can go through the windshield, you go through an airbag, airbag can crush you. So I was lucky on that Sunday night that I was hit in the back. So I'm kind of making this video to let everybody know that life is short sometimes sometimes life is precious to some because you never know when you is next when is your calling so I'm doing a special video called life is short or life is special I, I don't know I'm gonna, what I'm gonna name this video but I will but my friend got killed on that on a bike in that spot right there that's where his body landed I'll tell you more later on tonight because uh, right now I have to use the clap on to get to night time clap off clap on clap off the clapper I'm gonna tell you a bit more about what happened that night. This December 5th, 1995. 94, I'm sorry, I'm always getting the years wrong. Forgive me. Me and my friend worked at the seafood place where it was a donut shop or a donut plant. So we we clean up the restaurant, the business. I just want to give you a quick day view, but I'm going to do the rest of this at night. Me and him left on bikes. We are traveling on this white line here. 
I seen the car that was behind me, so I said I'm going to get over to the rocks. My friend stayed on the white line. My friend said he would go around, but he was wearing dark clothes. Didn't have no lights on him. I didn't have no lights on my bike. Neither one of us had lights. So we were traveling, I got onto the rocks. I want to show you how close we were to this. After these cars pass. It was three o'clock at night. The bars were around 2.30, really, that's yeah, what happened. Around, right where the bars let off, around two o'clock. He was riding right on that white lawn. I was riding right beside him. That's when the blue Ford pickup truck hit my friend and slung him almost 30 feet. He was hit about right here where the sign is. They had landmarks in the trees, but their trees are gone now. I can't find them. But he threw my friend all the way up here to this location. Right there. Um... I'll tell you more tonight because uh, I want to get off the highway because it's kind of busy. So I'm going to use the platform once again to get us there. Platform! Platform! The clapper! Clap on! Clap on! Oh, it works! It works! Well, I'm Ranger Cookie. And I want to finish telling you what happened that night. Me and my friend was riding our bikes. My friend got hit by a drunk driver who was coming from a bar called Rimmel's. Killed him instantly. His body landed right there. Me and my friend was riding together side by side. And I could have been with him, but something told me in my mind to go on the side of the road like I usually do. So I did. I got into the rocks. My friend stayed on the white line. You couldn't see him because he was wearing a very dark green trench coat. We both didn't have lights. And this is where he passed away, right here. It used to be a black spot on the highway. Right there. So this is where my friend Robbie Hartman passed away. Uh, we traveled across there and some other stuff. And uh, I put the ghost bike there uh, about three years ago. Three or four years ago. I just want to tell y'all my story that I could have been killed with him. And just a reminder, I was hit by that car last Sunday. It was a Sunday coming home from work. The same thing happened here. We was leaving work. It was a nice, beautiful night. You see the stars. Kind of crisp like it is now. And that's when he got hit. I just want to show you, and, and just want to talk to y'all about that. Because one day, 
you never know when you're going to be gone. So I'm going to do some stuff uh, with my gear. If I ever pass away, there will be a bunch of videos just talking about my life. Things I don't usually talk about. But I just want to talk about this because recently I got in a wreck. And I, it could have been worse. It could have been a headlong collision. It could have been really seriously fatal. And this, and my friend passed away. And you never know when you're going to get caught up in, in that second life. So most people believe. So I'm going to do a, like a tribute for all my gear. I'm going to give away. If I ever pass away... And if my family members just do what I ask, a lot of stuff will be given away. A lot. I meant everything. All my camping gear, whatever they don't want, give it away. Because you never know, you're going to be a ghost bike on the side of the highway. I put a little light on there on top. Somebody stole it. It was a little, uh, little 99 cent light for uh, solar light somebody stole it and I tied that sucker really good and I'm glad no one stole it it's a good bike but don't roll it's locked can't do nothing with it so I painted an old bike somebody gave it to me and I painted it all up uh, my friend was passed away on December 5th 19 94 and I'm gonna put some pictures of the bike up also so you could be seeing some pictures I just want to let y'all know because you never know when it's your turn somebody's gonna come up and shoot you and right in your head and you're gone or you get in a crash or this this bad things could happen I was right here, right there, on the rocks. My friend was right here on the white line. That's when he got hit. Right beside me. And I will never forget that day. Never. Some things you can forget, but this is burnt into my mind. I could have been riding on the white line too. But I got over to the rocks. And my friend's last words, he will go around me. But he was drunk. He was wearing dark clothes. And we had no lights. Always put a light on your bike. When riding at night or daytime. See, that's, here's my bike over there. I don't know if you can see that. But I got flashes. On that bike. I have a little light in front too. So you can see it. But I turned it off. Because the batteries cost more than the light. But you always want to put a light. On your bike. When you're traveling. Oh the little white light's still on. I have to turn it off. Now this. Light is not really a legal light. But it's a still a light. Louisiana state laws want you to have a light to go about 20 to 30 feet above a, for, a front of you. Like this light I got on my head. This is more. That, I, wore, I wore that one too. So every car came by, I turned on my lights. And I got on the side of the road or the opposite side of the road at night. I wish my friend pulled over into the gravel. He'd probably be still with me today. I just want to show y'all and talk to y'all about this because usually I don't talk about my personal life. Like some of y'all didn't even know I paint. Tom, damn you boy. Some of y'all didn't know about all the things I do because I don't talk about them. I have learned a lesson through time what to do, what not to do at work. 
because there are assholes out there, and they will not. They try to get everything, everything about you, so they can talk about you, laugh about you, say things about you. That's why you barely see any drama in my videos. I got enough drama. At this. Damn you, boy. That's the reason why I don't have a lot of drama in my videos, because I, I have enough drama at work. I have enough drama watching other people's videos. You just get bored of it. It's the same thing every day. I mean, why? Why would you do that? It's like... Making sure I'm out the road, that's why I'm a stock big old truck coming up this way. That's why I don't have drama in my videos. I don't talk bad about other people. I don't care what you do in your videos. I always will thumb you up. I will leave a comment. Thank you for the share. Unless you ask. If you ask for my opinion, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm gonna tell you my opinion because you ask for it. And people hate me because I don't bullshit. I want to let this car pass by, give you a few seconds. So don't be another mark. That's why I created my channels. I got three channels. Some of y'all know all three. Some only y'all know two, and only some of y'all know of one. I'm only gonna give you two. Andrew Majuri was made to dedicate my friend's life and the things he knew and the things we did together. Then my friend Dolly Polony says, hey, start your own YouTube channel. So I did. I created Ranger Cookie. That's me today. Ranger Kooky. And the third one I'm not going to tell you. Because basically, it's about that bike right there. So I just want to say, y'all just take care. Be careful on roads and highways. Especially when you're riding a bike. Put a light on it. Don't be stubborn like my friend and me at the time. 1990? 94? I was... I was, I was what, 20, 20 years old or so? Stubborn, because well, we didn't, couldn't afford lights. But after my friend's death, I didn't ride my bike for a year. I put so many lights on my bike, you'd be surprised. Then I tried to promote bike safety. <laughs> All right, I want y'all to take care. And just be careful if y'all jogging, jogging, riding a bike. I just tell you one of my life stories. This probably is what's going to call this video is going to be called one of my life stories. Um, you will never forget things like that. Robbie Hartman mom started the White Cross Society basically so in the ghost bike kind of ghost bike has been around a little longer than her but she started the White Cross that used to be a big white cross somebody stole the White Cross we got the White Cross back and this is the second cross that we put up because I think the other one got old and somebody comes out here and cleans this up that's a new flower there. I never, I didn't see it until like a week ago. I guess it was Easter. Um, you know, life is short. And we got to take for granted one day. That one day. Never take for granted for, of your life. You know. There's that new, you know, you know. <laughs> you know, oh, boy. 
Trust me. Watching your friend get killed in front of you is not a, 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 something to like to remember if you don't. So I'm encouraging all my YouTubers, if you ride a bike, please put a light on it. A $10 device can save your life. And that was my motto of my outer character. <laughs> See? I'm Yeah, so uh, just be careful. I just want to tell you all about a little bit more about me. You might see some more videos about what I do. I thought about doing a video called My Life and just show you my daily things I do with my life and where I go, how I go, when I go, where I go at, and how I do stuff. But I don't know if that'd be boring to y'all because it's going to be very long. I will try to talk or say something through the videos if I do this video about my life. Those saying draw your life, well, I like to make a video of my life. My daily routines of my life. Like like, like Tom, poor Tom, he didn't know I paint it. There's a lot of things y'all don't know about me because I don't tell y'all. Because I don't want y'all to use it against me or say something bad or just, I don't know. It's just Ranger Cookie. And this is the Ranger Cookie Show. Enjoy. But since I got in this wreck, I'm going to be doing some videos about gear or my stuff and what I want to do with it. Because life is short. It only took one second to take my friend's life. One second. That's as, as fast as I could turn this light on. That's how fast he died. Me, me and my friend Robbie Hartman was traveling. Like I said, I'm going to go ahead and tell you the story. Make sure I tell you the whole story again. I was traveling on the white lawn. We both were. Well, I was on the white lawn. He was over. I told him there's a car. So I move into the rocks. He moved into the white lawn. We kept going. My friend got struck and got tossed about where that sign is. The man was going about at least 50 to 60 miles an hour when he struck my friend. I stopped where, where my friend got hit and left my bike. I, I stand it up. I ran to my friend yelling no, no, no. The first thing I wanted to do is CPR. But when I see his neck was all broken, I knew it was no hope. So I ran back to work, unlocked the door, called 911 to see if they might be able to help him. It felt like an eternity, but it probably was 30 minutes before they got here. 911 was back then was like crap. I hate to say it, but it was like crap. The coroner came, police came. They all asked me questions. Uh, the day later, the person who killed my friend told his sister that he thought he might have hit somebody. And it was already in the news that Mr. Robbie Hartman got killed by a motorist. And she saw this, so she turned him in. If I'm not mistaken, his name was Patrick. I'm not going to say all his name because I don't want y'all to go after him for any reasons. Because I forgave Mr. Patrick a long time ago. The reason why, holding a grudge against somebody will haunt you forever. So I forgave him. I forgave him a long time ago. 
waiting for this car to pass. So I forgave Mr. Patrick. If I remember his name right. It's been a while since I did any research about it because I didn't want to talk about it. But I'm going to say Mr. Patrick because it could be an alias name. Because I don't want y'all to hunt him down. I forgave him for what happened. Because holding a grudge against somebody, it's going to bring you down. It's going to bring you down so hard that you want to kill him or hurt him or do something to him or his family. I didn't. I just say, well, accidents do happen. Sometimes on purposely and on accidentally. You know, my dislikes to kicking in, so you know what I'm talking about. So I forgave him. And when we went to court, and my dyslexia and all that, I wrote a report. I didn't know what to say, how to spell the word, because my dyslexia was really bad when I was young. Until I overcome it and use it and learn how to, you know, use it better. He got away with it. Scot free. Nothing happened. I think he got probation or nothing. That's it. Probation, drug rehab. That's it. You know why? You know why he got away with it? There was no lights on his bike. That's why I was trying to promote bike safety. For a while, for almost two years, bike safety. That's why I'm trying to warn y'all now, you're my YouTubers. If you ride a bike at night, or even during the day, make sure your light's on. Because if that man hits you, if a person, I'm sorry, a person hits you while you riding a bike and you got lights on, he's going down. I made sure you could see me almost five miles with the lights I got on my bike. Five miles. I could see my bike. Five miles. See that little light way down there? I don't know if you can, but that light way down there, I don't know if you can see that. You can see me on my bike. That's how, how bright and how lit it my bike is. And I try to promote bike safety. I tell other people, please put a light on your bike. Because that's what happened to that guy. He got away with it. Because he was wearing dark clothes. And no lights on his bike. Not one single light. If he had one. This one light. He could at least gave him 20 years to 15 years for manslaughter. But since it was an accident. Because he didn't see my friend or me. It was an accident. Don't let no one get an accident on you. Because an accident, no, no justice will be served for you. I'm kind of upset, but I'm not upset. Because we were wrong ourselves. How can I be upset if I jump in a lava pit and got myself killed? Knowing the lava pit's going to cook my ass the minute I hit it. So why jump into it? Knowing that's going to happen. So don't jump into something that you're going to regret. Put a light on your bike. Uh, that's why I created one of my characters. And he promote bike safety for almost two years. And well, more, more than two years, because I didn't have a YouTube channel for about a year. So about three years of riding around telling people about what happened with me and my friend Robbie Hartman. And I have pictures and all kinds of stuff up. And don't be a ghost bike. Don't be like my friend. The person who killed him was an accident because he didn't see him. He didn't have a light on his bike. You know, I think that's going to be enough for me. This video is pretty long already. So, I just want all my YouTubers to be careful when they're riding their bike or jogging at night. One light can save your life. 
A $10 device can save your life. Put one on. You can buy a pack of cigarettes, you can buy a light. That's how cheap they are. Those little lights are like $5. If you can buy a beer, you can buy a light. You can buy a hamburger, you can buy a light for yourself at night when you travel at night. Don't be an accident report. Let that man get in trouble. Because if you have no lights and you live, guess who comes out the pocket? Yours. Comes out your pocket. If you get hurt and you had no lights and it was your fault, it comes out your pocket, not his. So don't, don't be an accident. Don't let somebody hit you and get away with it. Regardless, you're riding, a bike, jogging, or just whatever, put a light on. If you see, I got a couple of lights. <sighs> All right, I'm Ranger Kooky. I'm going to go ahead and say goodbye. Um, there's nothing more to say or talk about. I just wanted to let y'all know a little bit about me and my history. I was like 20 years old at this, what, 19 or 20 when this happened. No, 20. I never know. All right, I want to let this car pass by. I want to end this uh, little charade. bugging me. I guess not. Alright, I'm going ahead and end this. I'm Ranger Cookie. Uh, I hope all my YouTubers put a light on their bike. I don't want you to be an accident report. I want them to have uh, anybody who hits you on a bike with, uh, without lights, you're, you're accountable for that action. If you get hit and you have no lights, you go to pay. If you got lights on your bike and you get hit, they pay. And put bright clothes on. Even though I'm wearing camo, I got plenty of lights to override the camo I'm wearing riding this bike I have behind me. So don't be a number, don't be a statistic, don't be an accident. Do something about it. Put a light on your bike. Be seen, be safe. A $10 device can save your life. Promote bike safety in my dyslexia. All right, I'll read your cookie. Um, I gotta say goodbye. All right, bye bye.